I'm Richard Roper and we're here at Chicago's famous Adler Planetarium for my look at the most anticipated fall movies of 2014. All right, in chronological order, here's my list of the films I'm most anticipating. We start with The Drop. Now, some 15 months after we lost the great James Gandolfini, his last film performance will be showcased in this gritty underworld drama. Tom Hardy, who gave what I still consider to be maybe the best performance by an actor this year in Locke, stars as a Brooklyn bartender that makes money drops to local gangsters. A lot of hope for electricity here. Also looking forward to This Is Where I Leave You. The years have taught me not to get too excited about a film based on its trailer, but I'm excited about this film based on its trailer. The plot hardly sounds fresh. Four dysfunctional grown siblings reunited for their father's funeral, but whoa, what a cast. Jason Bateman, Tina Fey, Adam Driver, Rose Byrne, Jane Fonda, Timothy Oliphant, Katherine Hahn. That's a whole lot of funny and a whole lot of talent. Mom, close that robe. It's just breasts, Judd. Same ones you suckled at. No, Mother, those are not the same breasts you nursed us with. You got bionic breasts now. A movie a lot of people have been talking about ever since the book came out, Gone Girl. This is another wildly popular, critically acclaimed novel getting the big screen treatment. Ben Affleck stars as a former journalist that moves with his wife from New York City to his Midwestern hometown. On their fifth wedding anniversary, the wife goes missing and the husband becomes the prime suspect. This is directed by the great David Fincher, who's given us Fight Club and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and Zodiac and so many others. He's on my short list of event directors, master filmmakers whose very name instantly makes a project an event. Coming in October, The Judge. Once again, we're talking about a big city professional returning to his childhood home, but this time it's Robert Downey Jr. playing an attorney who comes home after his father, played by Robert Duvall, a judge, is a murder suspect. The top line cast also includes Billy Bob Thornton, Vera Farmiga, and Vincent D'Onofrio. Have I mentioned how much I love the fall movie season? Listen to these actors in these stories. Now, as much as any actor of his generation, Jake Gyllenhaal has a keen eye for provocative projects. The already thin Gyllenhaal lost some 20 pounds for his role as an underground TV crime reporter in Los Angeles, who's often the first on the scene to capture footage of grisly murders and horrific car crashes. If you want to win the lottery, you have to make the money to buy a ticket, is his motto, a slogan that grows increasingly chilling as the story progresses. Also looking forward to Before I Go to Sleep. Now this sounds like a much darker and serious version of 50 First Dates. Nicole Kidman stars as a woman that suffers a traumatic episode that gives her enterograde amnesia, i.e. she wakes up every morning as a blank slate remembering nothing. But based on her journals, she starts to believe she's a woman named Christine married with a son. But is she? Kidman's fellow Oscar winner Colin Firth stars as Kidman's husband, and the cast also features the great Mark Strong. And the reason we're shooting at the Adler Planetarium is the movie that I'm looking forward to the most this fall is Interstellar, directed by the great Christopher Nolan, who gave us the Dark Knight trilogy, and starring Matthew McConaughey, this is the story of a band of travelers that fly through a wormhole to save humanity. In November, we get Fury, Brad Pitt headlining this World War II film about a Sherman tank crew embarking on a harrowing mission behind enemy lines in April 1945. The talented David Ayer, a Champaign, Illinois native that wrote Training Day and directed End of Watch, directs. Also, I'm looking forward to Dumb and Dumber 2. It's Dumb and Dumber 2. How can it not be on this list? What's the matter with you? Also coming this fall, the third entry in the Hunger Games quadrilogy. There's going to be four movies all together. This is Mockingjay Part 1, of course, starring Jennifer Lawrence and that amazing supporting cast. I really like the first two adaptations. Looking forward to this one as well. All right, those are the 10 movies I'm most anticipating for the fall of 2014. What are you most looking forward to seeing? I'm Richard Roper.